We're going to mix up um, some super washing soda to strip off the hard ground that you have on your plate. We need to just, just so you guys know how to strip, how to um, mix that up, you just want to take this Arm & Hammer super washing soda, which is basically sodium carbonate, and we're going to like dump it in here. And we're going to fill it up to about the line that I have on the bottom of this orange um, container right about here. So we're going to put about that much in. And then we're going to get some really hot water. So it's really important that we uh, make sure we wait till the water is good and hot. Nice and warm. And the nice thing about this solution is basically this is kind of water softener. Uh, so it's not a really terrible toxic chemical. So you should probably um, you know, wear gloves if you have a lot of sensitivity to that. But I usually just um, kind of put them on after I get it to this point so it looks a little bit easier for me. So, so once I get that in there, then I go ahead and put the hot water in. And I fill it up maybe, you know, a third of the way full. And then we just need to mix it. So we just need to spend a little time um, mixing that up. So I'm going to put on my gloves to do that. You can use a spoon, you could use a, um, any kind of a stirring stick that we have laying around here or whatever. But um, then I just kind of put my hand in there and I try to, we just want to dissolve all of that powder into this thing. So we want to make sure that we get the powder nice and dissolved and that um, you know, everything is all um, you know, loosened up in there. You don't want to have a big bunch of residue at the bottom of this thing. It just takes a few minutes for this to um, get good dissolved. So we'll just mix and think about something. I wish I had a joke to tell you right now, but I don't, so. Okay, so once I get that good and um, mixed up, then I can continue filling this up with more water. It smells nice, it's quite, you know. Quite pleasant, and then I'll just go ahead and uh, probably in the bottom of the sink. I'll just go ahead and mix this up a little bit more again. Don't put your glove all the way in there because uh, otherwise it'll dump all over the place. And then we can just pour our super washing soda right into here in the tray that it's supposed to go in. We'll have a, a label for it, and it'll be marked and everything with a lid on it, so you'll know which thing is which. But okay, and then the other thing that we want to make sure that we do a really good job of is just kind of swish out the bottom there. Then we also want to make sure that we rinse the heck out of this thing, right? Because we also use this to fill up our water for, um, you know, blotting, blotting paper. So make sure that you rinse this really, really well. Scrub it out a little bit. Make sure we get all the residue out of there. Clean it. And now you're ready to uh, take the hard ground off of your plate after you've etched it. And this will take the aqua tint solution and the stop out and everything off of there. You can take it all off. If you have any stubborn areas, you can always hit those with ammonia. Uh, and that'll really strip it right off of there. Um, and then you're ready to, uh, ready to print your etching. Okay, if you've reached the point with your uh, either aqua tint or line etched plate that you're ready to take it out of the acid and print it, um, there's a couple different stages that you can go through to kind of try and clean that plate up. Again, the first one is to let as much of this acid drip off back into that tank as you can. We don't want it to be, um, you know, we don't want to waste it. And we also want, don't want to wash any more of it down the sink than we have to. So we're going to just take this and rinse it really well. Peel the tape off of there. So we're going to take the tape off. And this is my plate that I've been working on my progressive line etch for. So it's basically a, uh, um, you know, it's been bit for an hour or 45 minutes, um, a half an hour, or an hour, half an hour, 15 minutes. So we're going to print that later and we'll see what the difference is between all those different depths. But what you want to do after you've taken it out of the acid, go ahead and close the lid on the acid. And we go ahead and we put this back, we put this into our vinegar and salt solution. So you'll know which one is which from the smell and everything. But um, the vinegar and salt solution basically deoxidizes the plate. So it takes all of the... Um, rust that we've made and kind of just neutralizes it. It's kind of like shining up a copper penny if you've ever worked on, you know, pennies or coins or anything like that. You can use a little salt and vinegar solution to kind of do that. And all it is is a gallon of vinegar with, you know, um, you know, a good probably you know, half a cup of salt poured into it and shaken up really, really well. So once we've left that in there for a little while, you know that the plate's kind of deoxidized and we'll go ahead and uh, rinse it again. So we always want to rinse it with water in between steps. 
So we've, you know, rinsed the acid off, we put it into the um, deoxidization vinegar and water solution. Now we're going to put it into our stripping tank, which is basically just a bunch of um, uh, uh, super washing soda, which I showed you how to mix up earlier. And so we're, um, we're going to go ahead and just let that soak in there, and that'll soak for a while. Um, once you see all the floor wax or hard ground um, dissolve off of it, you can go ahead and rinse it really well in the sink. Once that's done, you can um, you know, deoxidize it again if you want to, just to make sure. But always rinse it back and forth. And if you're going to do any other things to it, like Aquatint over the top of your line etching or something like that, you want to make sure that you hit it really well with ammonia and water in this little spritzer. And scrub that really well, uh, rinse it, deoxidize it. Just make sure that it's good and degreased and there's no hard ground left anywhere on the plate.